Hi, I'm Daniel Shea. I'm the artist in residence. Um, this is the fourth week of me being here, and today we're inside the barn where I do most of my work. So, um, since last week, a bunch of stuff happened. We picked up all of these um, CNC parts, which uh, um, I'll be kind of gluing them together next week. So these are basically uh, what forms the outer ring of the structure and um, will be like screwing fence boards onto them in like a staggering pattern. And that will just um, make the exterior wall. And we also finally got the concrete in. So um, all the posts that, well, everything else will attach to are on site now and concreted in. So now we can um, next step is to start building the, the decks and walkways that pe people will actually be able to use. Yeah. There was a lot of like rocks in the ground, so when drilling the holes, most of the holes don't go quite as planned. They were off by a little bit. So there had to be a lot of adjustments on site on how the post sets in. We had to make a lot of extra bracing to um, pull the post up so it doesn't um, touch the side of the hole. So a lot of adjustments there and um, also putting in the concrete because we <laughs> dug the holes really big to adjust the post we had to do more concrete so that took, a, took us two days extra. <laughs> so. Mm. so the challenge is this week because the post some of them aren't exactly aligned like how I wanted them to. There has to be some re-measurements um, so that the de deck and walkways can fit correctly on them. So, and the other thing will be to um, use the laser to mark where the where these things will sit. And because it's high, it'll be a little tricky, but it's not as hard to, as the other parts. What about the weather? Oh, the weather. Um, it was, it's getting pretty cold, so last night I was out there doing the lasers and it was windy and just like the laser moves when it's windy and it's, the cold kind of kills the batteries pretty quickly, so just have to work faster. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't know, on the ground there, there's a, I'm starting to build a framework for the cone, which the um, which the people will look through and to see the sky. So that would be exciting to um, put up the cone and then hope soon the mirrors, because every time the mirror goes in, it's like a completely new experience. It's like suddenly like a portal opens up in the space. Yeah. So I like being out here and on that hill, I guess like this area where there's not really like high things in the horizon, you get to see a lot more of the sky and somehow like feel closer to the sky. So I just been thinking about like why I want that, like want people to stare at the sky through this work. And it, I think it's kind of like, a, like trying to comprehend something that's like infinite and then it goes on and on and then how that makes you like, makes you feel about your body like you feel like smaller and then just like it's kind of grounding for me to like look at the sky and then comprehend like things far away so yeah trying to figure out how this like obsession with the sky came from <laughs>